Welcome back, boys and girls. Today, after we got done installing those, anybody know what, remember what those are? Do you remember? Yeah, you remember. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what comes in a cardboard box full of paper towels. <laughs> and well, oh, oh, it's blue. It's blue. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, look at that. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not. Ermax. Okay, that's it. And it goes a little something like that. Perfect. Let's go. Let's ride. It's on. Look at it go. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Put a little duct tape on it. We're good to go. Looks like it's gonna work. Maybe it goes like this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a tank protector. That's what it is. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Even the lines line up. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's put that back in the tissues. Paper towels, whichever you want to call it. And let's take this terrible seat off that I absolutely hate. That is the worst seat. I've ever ridden on. Hurts my butt, hurts my tailbone. Please, Sergeant, make a seat for this bike. Because I don't want to just send in my stock one and y'all just kind of modify it to whoever I send it in. So, I don't have any instructions, so I take it. I have to, uh. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like. Okay. So that's, that's pretty neat. Let's see, about, about like that. Okay, so I take it, I get the seat. Again, sorry guys, I didn't bring my tripod. I take it, I shove it down. Okay, hold, hold on, guys. Shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Come oh, on, baby. You like that undersea action there? It's pretty hot. it goes on farther than that. Okay, maybe sliding it on is not the best. Uh, I still got space there. So I'm going to guess that it goes on farther than that. I would think that it would almost butt up to the uh, incline there. So... I don't know about. Okay, let's. Oh, God, it's so hard. Alright, I think. I think that's it. Okay, there's one side. Golly, if those things don't break off, then I'll be amazed. Huh. Okay, well, there it is. I was hoping it'd go up a little bit farther, but that's that's it. I'm not really a fan of the how this installs. I'm used to my VFR. It actually uh, like it goes over the seat. And there's a, hold on just a second guys, let me get this out of the way, there we go. Uh, and of course the plastic is more, more round here and there's two, they call them Frankenstein bolts that go there. And there's a, so imagine the, imagine the, uh, yeah, 
Imagine a seat cool bubble like that. Stops, comes down over the seat, and there's two tabs right there with bolt holes. And the bolt goes there and bolts to a bracket like that. And it's secured. I know a company made some quick disconnects for it, but I'm not sure what suck if someone just decided to, hey, I know what those are, and popped them off and took your shit. Alright, so. Okay, what am I. What am I fighting here? Ta da. That's it, guys. Uh, not a very good fit right there. Maybe that's a maybe that's a 650R thing. So uh, it's not not too bad. This probably is made to fit the 650R better than the ER. Oh, that's nice. Another, another, another freaking scratch. <coughs> Alright, so. I don't know, the color is just. It doesn't look right, but then when I look at the tank, it looks okay. So, it may be just the lighting, uh, the lack of lighting here. Because it looks a lot lighter than the rear section. But if I'm looking at the tank, it doesn't look too bad, of course, at the shiny spot. So, I'll need to get it in the light and see see what it looks like but I like seat cools I don't like the banana rama showing there uh, I wear it I put it on all the time even on my VFR when I have my, my luggage on my soft luggage I leave the seat cool on and just set the top piece with the saddlebags just and that helps lift that and because I have a high mount exhaust and uh, helps keep it off that so I, I get tired of changing putting the low mount on the, it'd be best to have the low mount than my saddlebags but I leave the high mount on it's carbon fiber so it doesn't get doesn't get hot enough to, com to combust and there's like a heat padding shield thing on the bottom which it hasn't burnt or anything it sits right on the tip of it so whatever Oh, that's it. Wow, two things done in one. Actually, three done. I brought more crap in here. Uh, yeah, see, look at look at all the crap. Oh, so much, so much crap. I mean, stuff. I'm sorry, stuff, stuff. Mm. I mean, there's my old, there's my old car engine. Let's see what she looks like. Dun dun dun. dun. Dun, 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 dun. No, it's not a V8. Duh. It's a little 1.3 liter full banger. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, I sold the, sold the Weber carburetor I had on it. So I just kind of have it just to keep it since that's the original. That's what came in the vehicle. I just kind of have it. I need to. I need to at least clean it. I plan on just keeping it. I know that sounds dumb, but you know, if, uh, if I ever sell my vehicle and somebody wants it stock or wants all original stuff, they can they can have the engine. Or right, hell, I may I may uh, if I decide to sell my vehicle, I may take out the what I put in and put this sucker back in, and they can have this, and uh, I'll sell the other one. Uh, since it's different and a little better, it's a whopping 1.6 liter 16 valve I stuck in. Woo! Watch out! This is a 1.38 valve. Let's see. You got a little lovely identification there. 
Oh, look at the crappy camera. I can't even focus. Screw you, Nikon. Okay, uh, this one I pulled out because it was under. It's underpowered from factory. <laughs> Made in Japan, and it was burning oil and low compression. So like, screw it. I'm not gonna stick this back in. I'll get a bigger engine, a whopping point three liters more. It's actually a lot better. Uh, and that's it. And then. Here's the cherry picker that did all the work. Yay, cherry pickers. They're also good for motorcycles when you gotta take the front wheel off and all that crap. And if you can't put uh, some, whatchamacallit, the whatever. And these totes are more engines. Uh, that's a 1.68 valve. That's the head and there's the pistons and stuff and blocks and shit are in there. And see, that's uh, my, my transfer case. Uh, Went and got another transfer case and swapped in some lower gears to help. And I say, hey, what's this shit? Oh, uh, it's power steering.